All right, we're back. Um, jump started my buddy, he's doing all right. I'm back here. And for the rest of this, all we're gonna do is pull off the shaft, the rockers. Um, what else we got here? That's it. And next video will probably be the heads coming off and the cylinder inspection. So let me grab this, see if I could do this with one hand. Basically to take the shaft off, for anyone that's never did this before, one, two, three, four bolts. And it just pops right off. And you can pull out the uh, lifters and push rods. Now the thing with that is, on this particular motor, it's a 1975. It's uh, what makes that a 41 year old motor. I'm not going to reuse these lifters, I'm not going to reuse these push rods, and I'm not going to reuse these rockers, and now I'm thinking about it, I'm not even going to reuse the shaft. They're 41 years old, it's just, I don't know, not going to do it. So it doesn't matter. Normally you would line all this stuff up before you take it off, and you would make sure you put it somewhere in order so you can put it back together in order. But seeing how I'm using none of this stuff, it doesn't make a difference. The cam I buy for this is going to come with a different set of springs. Uh, roller rockers I'm most likely going to use and the push rod depending on what the uh, lifter and cam is the, the cam setup will come up with everything so these push rods I doubt will even be the right size so now that we got that sorted out let's see if I can hold this camera and take this apart at the same time using the air gun let me zoom out first sorry about that All right, here we go. Let's see if I can use this and hold the camera at the same time. Well, I keep, yeah, here we go. There we go. There we go. This one. Uh, you gotta love old American motors. Super easy to work on. Right. Let's take this, this, and this. Put them in the bolt bucket. This just lifts off now. And that's it. Done. Let's do the other side. And let me see here. I'm going to try using my left hand. Hold on a second. All right. I had to clean my hand off. I'm going to try uh, using my left hand to take this apart and hold the camera. But I had to wipe the grease off everything. All right. Let's see. Let's go number one here. Which one? Two. Three. And that's that. Let me find a place for this. I don't want that to fall. One, two, three, four. And there. Let's take this off now. Done. All right. Push rods. Ooh. Like I said, I'm not reusing any of this, so um, it doesn't matter where I place them or mix them up. There we go. There we go. Doesn't matter if I drop them either. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, yeah. Should have used that one. It holds more pressure longer. Anyways, uh, let's see. Now I got to do the lifters. Uh, this is always fun. So let me uh, get situated for that, and I'll be right back. All right. Let's see how this works. Let me get a screwdriver. Pop these out a lot quicker. All right. It don't matter what side I start. So here goes one. Two, 
free. Oop, 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 oop. Slippery little suckers. Oops. There we go. Some easy, some not so easy. Yeah, there's no wear on any of these. This one. Oh. This one. Yeah, these things. I don't know how well that's going to show up on camera. But these things are mint. Yeah, if you're going to reuse them, you have to be a lot more delicate than one out there. Ah, shit, that hurt. And I don't have a lifter for this, so this is it. Alright, I've got to come back to that one with a pair of pliers. Okay, that's good. Let me get the pliers first. Get those last two out. Oh, yeah, come on. Come on. Don't be a bastard. I guess you gotta get the right tool for the job, huh? something else to use to do this cool video on it. Ugh. Let's see. Looking for my small uh, channel locks. Here we go. Right tool for the job. Yeah, we've got a problem. Nothing's ever perfect, huh? Maybe this one's the cam looks fine. There's no wear on it. I was thinking maybe the end of this lifter's mushrooms, but and that's what's holding it back. But it doesn't seem to be. Let's take a look, see if she's mushrooms. No. Yeah. It just wanted to be difficult. That's all. It's like a bad dog every once in a while. A good dog has to be bad, so I guess that's this too. Well, this one don't want to go. Let's keep at it. Let's try that. That was a little rough. Let's see the condition of this one. Nope. That's fine. No ridge on it, no nothing. Like I said, I just wanted to be stubborn. Yeah, Alright, what I'm going to do now is clean this off. I'm going to line everything up. We can do a quick inspection of everything here. See how it is. And that will be it for this video. And the next one's going to be pulling off the heads. <coughs> Excuse me. 
that's going to be the fun one. We, that's where we get to see what the true condition is. All right. I'll be right back with the inspection of the valve train. All right. I guess we'll do an inspection of the uh, valve train here. All the springs are good. Nothing here. Too bad I'm not using them, but I'll just show tells you the condition of the motor just by playing with them. No, well, they're all good. Not bad. Let's take a look at the cam. See if we can see in here. Put for wear. Is that weird or weird? It has a little bit. It's hard to get the right light on here for you. Yeah, so that tells me this thing's been taken care of. Oh, sorry, but I went the wrong way. It's always had its oil changes. Everything's been good. There's no severe, nothing severe here. All right, let's uh, let me move this out of the way. Have a seat here. All righty. The tops of all these lifters. Let's see, how do I hold this? This one right here. They're all okay. They're good. The other side doesn't make a difference. That's where the push rod goes. Uh, the rockers. Minimal minimal wear. These are all in great condition. But I'm not going to use them anyways. Like I said, they're 41 years old. Get new ones. And the last thing, push rods. We're not going to go through every one of them. But yeah, it tells me that the car was taken care of. Um, everything's good. So that's it for this video. Next video is going to be pulling the heads off, which is pretty simple. And we'll get to that next. All right, guys. See you. See you later.